Sing me on about what happened once upon a time. When I sing a story or you sing a rhyme, it's as though I've heard it for the very first better than a good book on a rainy day. How about you, Harmony? Ah, well, actually, catching catnaps is high on my list, Bill. So, if you don't mind, good night. What, what was that? It's all right, Harmony. It's just some thunder. It's part of the rainstorm outside. Well, I don't like it. Make it stop. Well, I can't make it stop. Are you scared of the thunder, Harmony? <laughs> Me? Scared? <laughs> no way! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Maybe just a little. Don't worry, Harmony. I know of some great stories that'll make you feel better. <laughs> About being scared. Hey, Lewis, did you know that the island of Hawaii has an annual rainfall of 128 inches per year? Oh, yeah? Where'd you read that, Carol? Read it? I ate it. Nothing like the encyclopedia to fill your head. And stomach. Belle, <laughs> 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 yeah. no, what's wrong with Harmony? Harmony's afraid of the thunder, Kirsten. I am not! Ah! Okay, so maybe I am a freaky cat. There's nothing wrong with being afraid. And I'm sure you're not the only one. Is anyone else afraid of the thunder? Julie? Well, maybe just sometimes when it goes on and on. It's just so loud. Oh, well, you know what? Whether it is thunder or lightning or scary shadows on the bedroom wall or just plain old darkness. Woo, this is some storm. <laughs> everyone is afraid of something. Well, not everyone. Oh, come <laughs> on, Big Book. I'm sure there's something that scares you. Let me think. Actually, there is something I'm afraid of. I'm afraid there's some book in the world I haven't yet read. <laughs> well, don't worry, Big Book. I doubt that'll be a problem. Is there something you're afraid of, Belle? Mm hmm. Well, I guess there are a few things. I'm afraid I won't remember someone's name. I'm afraid um, that I'll catch a nasty old cold. And I'm afraid I'll forget which stories I want to sing to you today. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Okay, who wants to hear a story? Me, I do. But is it a scary story? No, it's just the opposite. This is a story about someone who thought they were a fraidy cat, but found the courage to be very brave. There once was a happy herd of sheep who lived in a beautiful grassy meadow. All the baby ewes loved their moms, and all the moms loved their little ewes. Well, they weren't all ewes. See, Lambert wasn't a sheep at all. He was a baby lion cub being raised just like a little lamb. And even though he didn't quite fit in, he always, always tried. <laughs> Lambert! You're no sheep. Your ears are like You've got really big feet. Your tail is too short. Your whiskers too long. When it comes to lambs, you're just all wrong. Poor little Lambert. He had no one to play with. His mom did her best to make him feel all right. But all he could think about was how left out and alone he felt. But then Lambert had an idea. I'll show them, he thought. All the ewes gathered to watch as Lambert faced off with the toughest little lamb of the herd. <laughs> oh, Lambert, once again, he was the laughing stock of the flock. And the truth was, no matter how that little cub tried to fight back, 
He was really just a scaredy cat inside. Hiding behind his mother was no comfort for the cowering cub, and Lambert sulked off with the sad realization that he was yellow through and through. Lambert. I think because they saw how frightened he was. So what happens next, Belle? Does little Lambert get laughed at again? Well, hold on a minute there, Julie. Did you say little Lambert? Time changes everything. The little spring lambs were grown by fall, and Lambert's mother was very proud, for he had become such a big, tall lion. He was huge, and he was happy. Unfortunately, he was also still the butt of the other's jokes, and he took it on the... chin. Sure, the others laughed, but not for long. One night, the sheep were fast asleep, and Lambert woke up with a fright. He had heard an awful sound and seen a terrifying sight. A hungry wolf had found the flock, and Lambert was petrified. He, he couldn't bah, he couldn't butt. He was a lion on the outside, but he was still a scaredy cat on the inside. What does it take to make you roar? What does it take to make you shine? Lay your courage on the line. In your heart you can't ignore when it's worth the fighting for. What does it take to make you roar? If you're always on the lamb, Help! you'll never find out who you am. Whenever danger comes around, you don't have to take it lying down. When you've never roared before There's no hiding anymore Got to settle up the score What does it take to make you <laughs> Lambert's mother was with love for her son, and no one in the whole flock ever laughed at little Lambert again. Now they all treat him like a wild and woolly sheep, Burr. instead of a sheepish lion. Oh, yeah. Now, doesn't that story make you all feel better about finding the courage deep inside to not be afraid? Yeah! I feel much better, too, Belle. I mean, after all, Lambert and I are part of the same family. What do you mean? They're both cats. You're right. Yeah, so maybe deep inside, I'm really a lion, too. A great, big, strong, tough lion. Rawr! <laughs> oh, Harmony, there's got to be a way we can make you feel better about feeling scared. You really think so? Absolutely. Hey, Carol. The lambs laughed at Lambert because he was different. If I was different, you wouldn't laugh at me, right? Of course not, Lou. I'd laugh at you no matter what you were like. Boy, are you my best friend or what? Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Sorry, that wasn't the thunder this time. It was just me. Doing with all those pots and pans and stuff, Bill. I have an idea that might help everyone overcome their fear of thunder. I don't know, Bill. It seems hopeless. But what if you didn't think of the thunder as thunder? What if you made believe that the noise was just a big old drum? 
A drum? You mean, like, music? Sure. Then when you hear the thunderclap, you can just imagine that it's a silly band of noisemakers, like this. Good. That's not thunder. It's just music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go, Harmony. Just loud, silly music. Yeah. Played by huge, mean giants in the sky. Oh, Bill. Oh, Harmony. <gasps> oh, wait. I've got another idea. I know of a great story about someone else who had giant fears. You want me to sing it to all of you? Yeah! yeah. Oh, please. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a town that had a really big problem. In fact, you might say, they had a giant problem. Fee, fi, fo, fum. The giant's spoiling all our fun. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Something surely must be done. We're hoping for a hero. Someone to save the day. We need a volunteer. Oh, I hope that help is on the way. Someone is hero material. All you gotta do is give your all. It's immaterial. Doesn't matter if you're short or tall. Hero material. Tailor made to answer the call. Did you ever kill a giant? I killed seven with one poo! Seven? Well, the news spread like wildfire. He killed seven giants with one blow! Seven with one blow? And before you could say, uh-oh, the entire town had thought that the little tailor had killed seven nasty giants, not seven harmless flies. Seven? Seven with one blow? Seven? wasted no time telling the king about the brave little giant killing tailor. Seven giants, one blow. Seven? Bring him here! And so the humble tailor appeared before the king, who only wanted to know one thing. Did you kill seven with one blow? Uh, yes, your honor. And how? Well, how? I was all alone. I heard him coming. I looked up. And I was surrounded. Yes? They were here, there, everywhere. A whole bunch of them. Yes? They came at me from the right, from the left. Right, left, left, right. Yes, yes, go on. They were coming closer. The fight was on. I swore to miss. I missed the swing. I swore to get it again and again. They were right on top of me. And then? Taylor, I appoint you Royal High Killer of the Giant. Giant? Uh, but your Mama Majesty, I, 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 I... And your reward shall be one million golden pazuzas. Oh, no, thank you, sir. But I, 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 I... Two million pazuzas. <laughs> but I, 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 I don't... Three million, four, five, six... Uh -uh. And the hand of the Princess Minnie. Princess? Well, who could turn down an offer like that? I'll cut him down to my side. So even though he was scared inside, the little tailor set off to conquer the giant. But how's he going to do that? He's just a tiny guy. Good point, Julie. I'm sure you're not the only one who worried about that. Gosh, I don't know how to catch a giant. Unfortunately, the tailor didn't have much to worry about because it looked like the giant was about to catch him. The tailor was so scared.
scared at the sight of the massive giant that he ran as fast as he could. And he rode as fast as he could. And he hid as fast as he could so the giant wouldn't be able to find him. too good for the tailor. The giant was hungry, and guess who was going to be his midday snack? the tailor was brave. Yeah, does the giant really eat the tailor? Excuse me, but I have it on good authority to a giant tailor tastes just like chicken. Well, the tailor may feel a little chicken, but that's because he's seeing eye to eye with the giant. After his escape from the giant's mouth, the tailor faced a new problem. All he could do was hang on for dear life, poking and grabbing onto anything he could. Of course, this just made the giant more angry at the pesky pest. The tailor fought back, but it didn't oh, oh, look good. I got you covered. No, not good at all. <gasps> <clears throat> But then the tailor got an idea. He knew he wasn't a very good giant killer, but he was the best tailor in the entire kingdom. So, instead of a sword, he used his skill with a needle and thread to sew up his problem with the big brute. <laughs> You don't have to start out brave to become hero material. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, I don't even noticed it. We didn't either. You know, Belle, I've been thinking about your last story. Maybe there's something I can learn from that brave tailor. What's that, Harmony? Well, he overcame his fear by using what he was good at. That's true. The tailor did use his needle and thread to feel brave. But what skill do you have that will help you conquer your fear of the thunder? Huh. Well, that's easy. Sleeping. Everyone knows I love to sleep. I'm very good at it, you know. Well, I know. But how will that help you with your fear of the thunder? Well, if I'm asleep, I won't know there's a storm outside. And then I won't be afraid. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, but won't the thunder wake you up? No, nope, not with these. My winter earmuffs. Yeah, if I wear these whenever it rains, I'll sleep like a baby kitten. That is a great idea. Let me help you put them on. Perfect. There you go. Now, how does that feel? I said, how does that feel? Can you hear the... I guess that answers your question, huh, Belle? Well, I'm glad she conquered her fear of the thunder. I'm glad that my stories were helpful. Did you all like them, too? Yeah! <laughs> it's nice.
nice to know other people get scared, too. I know, Julie. Both stories were about looking inside to be brave. And I know that that can be hard sometimes. But finding the strength deep in your heart is often the best way to face your fears. It worked for Lambert the Lion. And for the brave little tailor. And it worked for Harmony, too. She's so cute when she snores. <laughs> scared? Oh, come on. It's just silly loud music. I know. Let's strike up the band. Hey, Carol, you know what I'm scared of? No, what? The bell will run out of great stories to sing. Bell run out of stories? Never happened. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you are the baby they fall.